What's up? Boo! Gay? What's up, Taurus? What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a bull between the middle of November? Hmm? Between the 15th and the 30th of November? Hmm? Revelations? Hmm? Shit. Shaking in y'all world? Change is upon you. Hey? Hmm? Hmm? Coming to the realization that maybe we have control issues because the word control, possessiveness, oh man, intuitively, change is upon you, Taurus. Well, let's get it. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I make us a little, make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, I hardly ever shuffle on camera, okay? However, we're going to rock and roll. I do shuffle on camera, but usually I'll be delayed. You know, just got a feel of things. But, oh, this Venus retrograde in Scorpio. Your fellow fixed sign who also <laughs> under a bunch of changes. All right, but we're not going to talk about Scorpio and y'all shit. This is about a damn Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus is cross and cross watchers uh, for the sign of Taurus. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below within the description. Hit me up. I am available. Um, also, y'all, thanks you, thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. Y'all, thank you for allowing me to spread my light and shine my love upon your situations. Thank you for allowing me to share my wisdom, really share my encouragement with you all. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. All right? So we're going to rock out. Let's start with your spirit messages. Hmm. You are on the empaths. Some of you all need to heal situations with your father. Like the father figure and your mother. Some of you all, you really need to stand firm on what your beliefs are during this time. Taurus. A lot of you all are spiritual teachers, okay? I feel that during this time, your third eye chakra, your crown chakra is going to be booming, okay? I do feel that a lot of you all will be receiving information throughout your dreams, and these are going to be revelations. Maybe um, information maybe that you weren't aware of regarding uh, your father, or if you are a father, possibly uh, regarding a, like a hereditary cycle of some sort. Some of you all are really, really, really needing to speak your truth during this time. Some of you all are going to be receiving downloads to assist you in um, moving forward with having a conversation with your mother. For some of you all, you're really needing to move forward during this time. You're really needing to heal your past, but you're having to express them. Some of you all are going to be giving revelations to other people during this time. And for some of you all, it's definitely connected to the information that you receive from the spiritual realm. I am seeing that for some of you all, some of you all are very intuitive. However, I feel like you're having a hard time really, really coming to terms during this time with the shadow side of yourself. And I feel like for most, for most of you all, it has to do with control. Once you stop kicking and screaming and stop trying to control the situation, can you truly see it turn around for you? Okay? It may not be comfortable. However, it's much, much needed. And for most of you all, I'm hearing it's faded. Some of you all are truly, truly coming to terms about what it is that you're passionate about. Some of y'all are tarot card readers. Some of y'all are mystics. Some of you all come from a family of um, like white witches. I thought I had another sign reading. Um, yeah, I forgot who that was. But some of you all are really needing to have a conversation with your father and your mother. To get clarity to a situation with something that you've been holding for uh, quite some time. And I feel that the hands of God 
are going to intervene during this time. Some of y'all are very premonitory. Some of y'all, y'all going to be having premonition like moments. Some of y'all, for those of you who have visions, like they may be sketchy during this time because they have to do like, they may be like using familiar faces. Okay. Even though you may be dipping in and out of a past life. You really need to get outside into nature to get more clarity on that, receiving some form of a download that could be happening for a lot of you all, especially if you live around a bunch of nature, around like some wooded area or around like um, where there's a bunch of trees. Some of you all really need to hug a damn tree during this time. Calm your ass down. Okay. I'm going to get the bill. <laughs> Y'all want me to get the bill because I'm old school, dog. I get the bill. Okay. Oh, let's get it. <laughs> what can my tourists expect in love spirit? I keep hearing revelations. I keep hearing revelations. Let's get it. I'm let y'all see these cards. So y'all so barely ever. Mocha feeling some type of way. Thank you, spirit. Some of you all could be dealing with a Pisces during this time. But some of you all are going to receive some form of information spiritual. I feel like this is esoteric information. Some form of like a push towards a soulmate relationship. Okay, and I feel like it could involve a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But some of y'all, you're going to come to, you're going to have a revelation about a Pisces, but most of y'all being a soulmate to you during this time. I feel like in the past, maybe you weren't given to that situation too much. Like you were given the situation love or you were offering your love. But some of y'all are actually going to take this offering from this water sign, okay? Because I feel like. Some of you all, some of y'all, this person may appear in your dream. And some of y'all, this person is connected to their past life energy, those revelations, that premonition energy. I was saying, damn it, Taurus. Damn it. God damn it. Y'all got me bending over, acrobat and shit. Yeah. Some of you all may be finding out about a pregnancy, okay? Um, yeah, but some of y'all, this could also include, some of y'all could be married in relationships. Or like in long-term relationships and found out that you got another baby on the way. This could have actually, this could be information that you find out around the crescent moon. The next crescent moon. Yeah, some of y'all, definitely a baby that came out of third-party situation. That could include an air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like you do love this person. There is love for this person. You or this other person could be very intuitive. Some of y'all them dreams, again, them dreams going to be very, very revealing during this time. Take your ass to bed, though. Because them bags ain't cute. You're going to get up like, bag lady, take your ass to sleep. Don't be scared of the reality of them dreams. I guess nobody ever told you. All of you must hold on to is truth, is truth, and you. Come on, y'all. It's time for you guys. Things will be stabilized. For those of you who have intuitively, um, maybe you've seen the reconnection with the soulmate. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. I feel like you just really want to move forward, Taurus. I want to move forward. Some of you feel like you're caught up, like someone's trying to trap you. But I feel like intuitively you're going to be able to come into a new perspective. Damn dreams. Yeah. Some of you all, there's definitely change coming. I feel like it's unexpected change. And some of you all are going to be very internally conflicted by it during this time. Yeah. But it's crazy because it's going to bring a sense of newness into your life. You're going into new beginnings. New shit. New shit only. For some of y'all, it's with a Leo. Y'all not see Pisces. Everybody is at the damn bull party. Yeah, some of you all with the Aries, okay? But some of you all, some of you all could actually be expressing your love to an Aries. I feel like this person could be intuitive. For some of you all, you want to bring balance to a situation. Or for some of you all, that change that's coming in is something beautiful. For some of you all, it could be this pregnancy, but it's something beautiful and it is going to have a balanced outcome i feel that you're needing to move away from feeling trapped and stuck in situations because your ass ain't stuck give me the who got some scissors cut me down because it's time to take this leap of faith and move forward some of y'all afraid to change and some of y'all this change in, involves moving away 
or just completely like uprooting. Some of y'all going to just up and up and leave the situation, especially if you've been in a third party situation for some time. But some of you all, you just want newness and you're going to get it. But it's going to come in the form of some uncomfortable change. So take a deep breath. You feel me? Take a deep breath right now, Tori. Let's breathe. Okay. Can't change it. Let's just move forward. So be it. Let's, let's get it. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all fighting this change. And it's crazy because you feel, even though you're fighting the change, you feel stuck in the situation. Some of y'all could be dealing with Sagittarius. I feel that you as the other person, like I said, there is love in the situation, but I feel like it's not fulfilling to you. And it's just really really about you moving forward. Some of y'all feel stuck in a situation where really you want to be in love, but you feel like some of y'all stuck in a situation with a Leo. Some of y'all actually want to move forward towards the Leo or Pisces. Yeah. Some of you all... You feel during this time you have a lot of options. Some y'all, some y'all gonna be changing jobs. Have you been in your head about, oh God, give me a sign, <laughs> give me a sign? Some y'all are not stuck at that damn job. You just being a slave to your own damn loyalty. Change is good if you just choose to take that leap of faith. Money's gonna look well and short, well and swell for Taurus, but you gotta trust yourself. Because in the end, baby, you will have harmony and end this cycle of entrapment of the mind. Your reality is what you make out of it, okay? It's time to end this cycle. But some of you all, you're ending the cycle with the Sagittarius, okay? Because I feel like this person in the past may have made you feel abandoned, possibly moving forward with a Virgo. Or maybe this person may have pulled back from you. But during this period of solitude, baby, you got to understand that change is good. You cannot fear change because it's, it's going to be the change that brings the success, the success in love and any other damn ships in your life. But you have to first trust that and be willing to see that. But this is a very healing time. And I feel like you guys are going to be healing from past deception. The veil is no more. Hell, y'all full moon took that shit away. The veil is no more. It is no longer thin. So you're going to be able to see people's situations, circumstances for who the fuck they are, what the fuck they are. And for some shit, this sneaky behavior, baby, it's time to move forward away from this shit. It's time to dip. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But it's about you being truthful and being honest with yourself about what it is that you're passionate about. Some of y'all are moving away from the manipulative ass Aries. For some of y'all, this could be any sign. But I feel like someone in your energy was very manipulative. And if you just trust the process again and move forward and just move on blind faith and allow this judgment call to happen. For some of you all, this could involve a younger earth sign or a younger female. But I feel like this is moving you to a period of love and recreation. You have everything that you need, every resource, every resource that you need. You are not stuck. It's about progression, healing, understanding, and acknowledgement. Okay? So this is what I have for my babies. And you got this, babe. You got this. You got every step of the damn way. What you scared for? Okay? So this will be for my babies, my tourists, my bull game between the 15th and the 30th of November. I love you, love you, love you, love you a long time. Send you many blessings, much abundance, much love. Namaste. Mm. Give me up for a reading if you need me. Love y'all.